Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This short video is from Mr. Hyatt's book and uh, it is subject is circuit analysis in this domain. Here primarily we'll be solving practice problem 15.5 and this is on the request of some students. So the problem says use nodal analysis to determine the voltages V1, V2 and V3. So this is the circuit. You can see there are two inductors, one resistor and two current source. This point is V1, this is V2 and this is V3. So we have to find these three voltages. Assume there is zero energy stored in the inductor. So uh, we'll see what does this mean. Okay, so first of all, we need to convert this circuit, which is in time domain, into Laplace domain, or we call S domain, also called frequency domain. It's all same. Now, we have learned that from time domain to S domain conversion, the inductor is converted like this. This is one of the circuits. There is another one. So I'm just taking this. And now, as the question says that the there is zero initial energy. That means this one, the current stored, or the current through the inductor at time zero will be zero. That means this will be eliminated. So the circuit left is just this one. That means from time domain to S domain, all we have to do with the inductor is we add an S with it. Okay, so L will become SL. Also, to convert the current sources, we, we know that UT is converted as 1 over S in S domain. So, let's draw the new circuit. So, this is our new circuit. 3 Henry it will become 3S. 8 Henry will become 8S. Bs have been written in capital form. And 10 UT will become 10 over S. 1 over s and 3 ut will become 3 over s so from here we'll use nodal analysis to solve the circuit okay the only part we have to remember at every node is that the current entering must be equal to current leaving so first of all at this node I have drawn the current direction myself. You can draw it anyway, but you have to um, uh, write the equation correctly. So this is entering current. This is the node. Current entering is V2 minus V1 divided by 3S. V2 minus V1 divided by 3S. This is current entering. And this is current leaving. So 10 over S is current leaving. From here, we can cancel S and S and then cross multiply. So V2 minus V1 will be 30. And from here, V1 will be V2 minus 30. So this is our equation number one. Now we come to node two. Node two, this is current entering V3 minus V2 divided by 8S. Current leaving is V2 divided by 2 and V2 minus V1 divided by 3S. So this is the equation. Here also we'll simplify. Better way is to multiply with the LCM. So LCM is 24, so we multiply by 24, and then we get this equation, and simplifying, simplifying, and collecting the light terms, etc. So this is the equation number two. Now, this uh, uh, will uh, we'll put the values of V1 and V2 uh, later on to solve this further. Now, let's go to node number 3. This is node number 3. Current entering is current leaving. So 3 over S is equal to V3 minus V2 over 8S. And from here also, SS cancels cross multiply. 24 is equal to V3 minus V2 or V3 is 24 plus V2. So this is equation 3. So we have these three equations. Now to solve equation number 2, 
will put value of v1 here and v3 here to get v2 terms. Okay, so putting the values, you can see with 8 we have put in the value of v1, this one, and with 3 we have put in the value of v3, and then simplifying, 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 v2 is minus 14, 1 over s. And now we'll put this value of v2 to get v1 and v3. So putting value of v2 in equation 1 and solving, we get this equation, uh, which is the value of v1 in s domain. And similarly, putting value of v2 in equation 3, so here, this is the outcome, which is the uh, s domain value of v3. So we have all three voltages in S domain and now we can convert it into the time domain. So taking inverse Laplace and using these two formulas, first of all 1 over S, you know, we can write UT, so minus 14 1 over S will become, V to T will become minus 14 ut for 1 over s will get ut voltage then we come to the second one now here we have a constant minus 30 and we know that constant or 1 1 can be written as delta t so minus 30 will be written as minus 30 delta t and this one as usual is minus 14 ut and finally vt is also 24, so 24 delta T minus 14 UT. So all three values we have got and finally we can write the answer as V1, V2 and V3. So I hope you have been able to follow this. Please let me know through your comments. Thank you.